So for the Love Bridge campaign, it's kind of a romantic theme and it's kind of based around the bridge in Paris where everyone sort of puts their locks onto the bridge. I have loads of personalised bracelets and I got loads for all my friends with initials and dates and sort of, I've even got my like dog and cats. I've got, um, I've got my dog's name, Daisy, on these ones. I've got my birthday, I've got G-Wiz, which is a nickname. I've got GNJ, just initials and stuff. They do these cute little ones with the circles that you can just get like initials. I think always being there for someone, even if you haven't spoken for a while, always being, whether it's on the other end of the phone, um, I think like just being really supportive um, and having a good time together as well. Well, I actually was on the Stones tour when I got them, so I went back and I gave them to Theodora, Keith's daughters, and Alexandra, and Patty, their mum, and Lisa Fisher, I got one for her. I would have, obviously, all the girls in my sort of immediate family would be there, and then like maybe like a surprise guest from the past, like Jimi Hendrix and a River Phoenix, which is my crush always. I'd have them there. And maybe Mae West as well. Well, I'm really into the Love Bridge braces because you can customize them, but I'm also really into this sort of hand piece. I love the sort of ring bracelet attachment, it's really good. Um, Vivian Westwood's probably my favourite all-time designer because I, I love English fashion and I think that it's she doesn't go with seasons and it's always sort of fashionable and you can always tell what it is even just from the buttons and I, that's what I love about it. It has a real identity. Really like something like I'm wearing today. It's either like jeans or dungarees or something like that casually and like trainers or boots and then uh, black for evening, leather or like a Well, my mum has a kind of be fearless with style attitude, which I think she got sort of from Vivian Westwood and that more eccentric English style. So she always just says, don't worry about what other people think. If you really want to wear something and you think it's outrageous or whatever, just wear it. Cause we need more people making those kind of decisions, I suppose. The book I'm reading at the moment is Kim Gordon's autobiography called Girl in the Band. I'm halfway through it. That's pretty good. Uh, pepperoni, cheese, mushroom, peppers, um, chicken, pineapple, um, what are the other ones? <laughs> Mozzarella, farmer ham, anchovies, basil.